Welcome to a new episode on A Soul Awakening with Chantal, and today's subject is about observing. What happens when we observe, and what does it mean? As you know, we are not simply our personalities. We are also created in multidimensional links other parts of our soul, living, other realities, traveling while we sleep as well. And so when we're observing, we're actually absorbing like a sponge, unaware that this isn't only in our mind, our personality mind, nor simply our subconscious from where we have stored our memories from childhood and past lives. We're absorbing in our bodies. We're absorbing, in addition, on a physical level, we're also absorbing everything we observe in every level you can think of, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and what we're observing is being transformed and communicated without us even being aware of it. So let's say a scientist is observing through his telescope, his slides, things that he's studying. There's also another part of him that is connected to the universe like all of us that's observing these things from a greater distance is a part of soul knowing that this all has a meaning, a much greater meaning, a uh, part of the bigger plan. So to keep it simple, let's just say that when we're observing, we're storing things in that we're not even aware that we're storing in until maybe later 10 years, 10 months, 10 days, 30 years, when something comes through a creation like a book or a piece of music, or some advice we give to someone. And our observing is happening when we're not even aware of it. Um, just to share with you a little experience that I had when I went to Venice in Italy. In 2013, I was in the middle of reading the Convoluted Universe book. I may have mentioned this before, but I'm not 100% sure if I've mentioned this on one of my podcasts. So there I am reading, and I can't remember exactly what it was I was reading within Convoluted Universe Book 2. But as I was reading, it was the end of the day. My boyfriend and I had spent the day traveling on foot all around Venice, beautiful city. And we were resting before dinner, and I was reading a bit more of my Dolores Cannon book. And all of a sudden... I felt a part of myself slip away, not quite falling asleep, and heard another part of myself with a group of what you call the council, a group of beings with whom a part of me, my soul, was exchanging information. And I couldn't quite understand what this information was that was being exchanged. But after a while, I came back into my body. And when I met Dolores Cannon in July of 2014, I mentioned this event that happened to me. And she said that in her books, uh, there are portals so that it's completely normal that this happens. But that my experience, as other experience, we, experiences we've all had and other ones I've had, were much more than we are aware of being. So there I was, it was October 2014, excuse me, 2013, and I was um, on a holiday with my boyfriend. I'd made him the gift of this holiday to Venice. That was all that was in my mind when I purchased the tickets. And we, you know, we sampled the restaurants, we looked at the art, we walked outside. It was just a beautiful, um, beautiful atmosphere. It was just great. And that's all I thought we were doing. 
but I realized that we're doing much more than we think we are and that the observing the mind thinks it's doing, there are other things that are being absorbed and observing as well. So know that we're all working, we're all doing things for the universe, for others, for our lives, for earth. And when you think of the word observe, try and feel this observation. Feel it in your pores. Feel it as you connect to the universe. And as you observe, note down what you're receiving as information. It might be through images or thoughts. That's how spirit, i.e. the universe, also communicate to us. It can be another being from another planet, someone you knew um, who used to be alive in your childhood that's coming through. Notice everything that's going on around you. And as you notice and note it down, either in writing or in communicating, let flow what's coming through in addition to that. And observe is to allow. It's not just looking. There's much more going on. So allow and know this, that we're all observers and we're all doing this work on earth and for the universe. I thank you for listening. I wish you a lovely day, a lovely week, a lovely month of February, the shortest month of the year. And I always find that once February is over, even before from the end of January, mid-January, I start feeling the beginnings of spring. And I start in a mind way, observing in my garden the branches that are you know beginning to wake up a little and the air's changed the scent on the wind the light and the earth seems to be a bit busier and I noticed my little bird lovely merle beautiful silky black bird with an orange beak that likes to tease my cat has been hopping around as if he's letting me know, um, you know, we've got to wake up and look to the spring now. So have a look around you. And if you'd like any more information, you can find me on my new website, evesoin.com. It's in French and in English. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.